We lift our hands and bow our knees and worship at your throne. We need you, Lord. We need you right now. Falling in love with Jesus. Falling in love. With Jesus, oh, falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I ever done. In his arms, I feel protected. In his arms, never does. Connected, oh, falling in love with Jesus was the best thing I ever done. Father God, we come to you now, Most High, and we are grateful. Before I start with the prayer, I would like to thank you for lives, Father God. I would like to thank you for the love, peace, kindness, forgiveness, strength, patience that you have gave us. Father God, I first like to thank you for our parents, our grandparents, our teachers, and everybody that is looking up and helping in with the coronavirus. Father God, I would like to thank you for the love and the hands that are still keeping this country and all the other countries together. Father God, I would like to thank you as well for the grace that you have put in our hearts to still carry on and the smile that you have put in our faces. Father God, I just want to pray that you heal all parents and anybody else that are suffering from Corona, Father God. I would like to pray that you not only guide but protect and wrap your wounds around us, Father God, and that you shine your light upon us until eternity. Father God, I would also like to mention that you have been too good to us till this day, Father God, and that there is no way out unless it's your way, Father God, and that your light should lead us out through this, this strategy and this virus that you have put upon us, Father God, and that you help us throughout it all. Amen. 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 Okay, the scripture reading for today is from Psalm 71, verse 17. It reads, since my youth, God, you have taught me, and to this day, I declare your marvelous deeds. God bless the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Good morning, brothers and sisters. It is indeed a privilege and an honor for me to share my thoughts on our scripture reading. For the last year or so, our lives have been turned upside down because of this virus. And fear is one of Satan's most popular weapons that he uses against us. At some point, we have all felt that God is distant or even ignorant, but nothing could be further from the truth. Because God promises in his word over and over again that he is with us. In Hebrew 13 verse 5, we are reminded when he says to us, I will never leave nor forsake you. In Deuteronomy 31, verse 6, he says to us, Be strong and courageous, for it is I, the Lord your God, who goes with you. In Matthew 28, 20, he says also, I am with you always, even to the end of times. And there are so many other instances in the word where God reminds us that we are not alone. And in our scripture reading, David confirms this and he validates this promise where he says that God has been with him since his youth up to his old age. In this psalm, David actually prays to God. It is a prayer from David to God. My prayer for you today, for everyone, if you're feeling alone, remember that God is with you. When you have a loved one that you had to bury because of the virus or any other illness, remember that God has not forsaken you. When you are depressed, Remember that God is with you. When there is no money, 
remember that God is with you. When you test positive for this virus, remember that He is right by your side and He is not going to leave you, nor will He forsake you. Beloved, God is with us not some of the time, but all of the time. If we remember this and nothing else, we will remember that God loves us and we are praying for each other during this very troubled time. And may God bless you now and always. Amen. <laughs> Father God, I'd like to show gratitude to you first. Thank you for where we are and what we have. We wouldn't have gotten this far without you. Thank you for the lives that you have given and that you love. Thank you for your grace that keeps us going, Father God. Father God, forgive us for what we did and what we have done. Father God, please put love, peace, hope, faith, strength, kindness, forgiveness into our hearts, minds and lives. Take control of our lives, hearts, minds, actions, thoughts and our intentions, Father God. Open our eyes towards all evil. Father God, I'd like to pray that you take forth, take back this calamity that you have brought forth against us and that you guide us and you give us strength to hold each other's hand and pick each other up as your children and as your army to break every chain of abuse, of neglect, of drugs, of hate, of lies. Amen.